This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. What's up YouTube? Raheem the Rabbit back at it again with another quick reaction video and welcome to the rabbit hole. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I ask you to please smash that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. Today's episode, you guys are going to like this one. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say uh, thank you and I appreciate you for all the new subscribers to the channel. So another one time. Definitely, I definitely... I definitely appreciate all the newcomers to my channel. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, we got a treat for you today. Um, this is my first time reacting to a Kevin Samuels clip. And once again, I got to say rest in peace to the Godfather, Kevin Samuels, one time for the one time. Uh, yeah, we will be reacting to one of his clips. And it all stems from this conversation amongst modern women today, which is... How much should modern women charge for their submission? Now, the popular conversation in the dating market today of what women require for men, he has to be six feet tall and make over six figures. So it's like, okay, if this is what's generally being asked of men, then how much are you charging for your submission? Is it a fair price? Is it a set price? Are you charging too much? Right? So... Without further ado, let me uh, minimize my screen here. And let me bring this clip up. And we will be reacting to this video in three, two, one. And I also have to say, fair use, fair use. How did you separate yourself as a man? Education, income, and like I said, the social stratification started. There were some positions that paid more, some that were less. What am I showing you? That in the turn of the 20th century, you started, you saw a boom in the 20s, you saw the aristocracy, the first real wealth. Wealth distribution really changed in America. Why is this important? Because enough people don't realize do the history, understand the sociology of human beings. You think this stuff just happens. To where now you have 100% of women who used to understand what their role was going to be because their mother, their grandmother, and, the, and, and, that, and for generations back, that's what you did. And men knew what their profession was going to be. You got choice. And with choice comes responsibility. But you had to give up something for that freedom. Women ended up leaving uh, the, the production, going into the housewife. That women had it. The women who could do that had it, had it better, but then what did women want? In the 20s, you had the suffrage movement, first wave feminism. Women wanted to be removed from the house. They wanted to go work. Exactly. Um, I'm glad uh, Kevin Samuels has this material for us to react to. And this is a timepiece because uh, the wave of feminism, this took a while to actually take place. In the early 1920s, women wanted to be housewives. They wanted to stay home, nurture the children while the men went out 
uh, and did what they did. They earned a living and they made all the money. As long as the woman uh, felt comfortable enough with their man and he was making a substantial amount of money back then, which, you know, wasn't a lot of money uh, compared to today. But, you know, as long as that man took care of her and the children and took care of the uh, house duties and all his husband like duties, she had no problem being super duper submissive and uh, taking care of the family stuff at home and being a very submissive, agreeable housewife. All in favor, raise your hand. You were, you were spared from the plow. To be a housewife, but now you want to go back to the plow. No, you didn't want to go to the plow. You wanted to go to the office. Women didn't want to do the dirty jobs. They wanted to do the jobs that they romanticized men did. Fine. And for the new millennium terms, this is blue and white collar workers. Blue collar workers are, you know, we'll just face for examples given uh keith keith works at the plant and he gets dirty he wears a, a pair of oily coveralls and he gets dirty he gets oily he wears a pair of work boots etc etc now henry henry is a white collar worker he wears a business suit and carries a, a briefcase to work and works in an office so you would figure that henry being that he wears a business suit and he carries a briefcase every day to work and works in a nice air-conditioned office, you would figure that he makes more money. But in actuality, Henry and Keith make the same amount of money. It's just the field of choice and the type of work that's being done. But ultimately, it's a beautiful combination of both blue and white collar workers that make up the driving workforce that built america all in favor raise your hand so again with the climb of socialism and the climb of feminism it seems that women want to do the clean cushy jobs they don't want to get dirty they want to be in their feminine energy so it's almost by default that most women like white collar jobs now because they pay a substantial amount of money and you can be in a nice a uh, heated or air conditioned office and sit and look pretty while you make uh, six figures. All in favor, raise your hand. And that has been with us. What men do, women tend to want to do the better parts of it. Why is this important? Because men at the top have always had to marry down. Men up the top have always had to marry down. Women at the top don't want to marry down. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Peaches? I think the reason why men don't have a problem marrying down is because we like to share. I've noticed one thing in the dating market, particularly uh, the past, I'll say the past 10, 15 years. Whenever a man makes himself the most valuable he can make himself in the dating market and he gets to the top 10 percent of earners or either top five the first thing he wants to do is find him a wife have a family so he can share his resources so and let's flip let's flip it right when a woman reaches a, a certain social economic status and she breaks into the top 10 percent of earners or even the top five she particularly wants to keep all her money and assets and resources to herself and she don't want to share. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Peaches? They want to marry at the top. Well, if you're at the top of the socioeconomically, if you're in the top 10%, the only above you is five, three, and one. Hold on. Let's, uh, let me rewind that so we can hear that again, right? The top 10% of earners is roughly uh, an estimation. Uh, you can actually go Google this. I'm just giving a rough number, but the top 10% of men across the United States make about 120,000 on the low end. So that's six figures, right? And there's nothing higher. It, the numbers get lower, the top five, three, and then one. Those are millionaires and billionaires. 
So the higher you climb up the social economic uh, ladder, the smaller the percentage of people that are up there that make that type of money. So I find it very funny that women want these men that are in the top 10%, top five, top three, and top one, when these men are so damn rare. You stupid. So again, if you don't have the level of femininity and agreeableness and just feminine energy, there's no way in hell that you're going to attract these type of men that make this type of money because flat out, you just don't qualify. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Men up the top have always had to marry down. Women at the top don't want to marry down. They want to marry at the top. Well, if you're at the top of the socioeconomically, if you're in the top 10%, the only above you is five, three, and one. Why is all this important? Because we have talked at nauseum about high value men and women and what women want. But the notion that if you don't make enough money, if you don't make over six figures, you don't deserve submission. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? I just want to reiterate what Kevin Samuels just said, and which is very disheartening. Like, again, the top 10% of earners, male earners, now it's not a black thing, not a white thing, it's just a man thing. The top 10% of earners of men make over six figures and we're talking about 120,000 on the low end. Um, you're trying to tell me that if you don't make over six figures or if you are not in the top 10% of earners, you don't get a uh, submission from just an average ordinary blue working collar woman. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? That is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That's very ridiculous. So it kind of like puts a damper on the dating market as far as the men is concerned. Is because, you know, any man graduating high school with a GED and or high school diploma, you don't have any uh, working skills just yet. So you qualify for entry level positions across the board which now entry level positions anywhere you're gonna, probably going to make about 30 to 35,000 40 45 um still you it takes time to amass these type of skills to actually get to the top 15 to 20% which is uh 50,000 and again it takes time it takes time so you mean to tell me a woman will not meet you halfway or even compromise a little bit, being that you don't have uh, the skill set to make this type of money that she wants you to make? Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? Listen, fellas, I don't care what salary you make. I'm not here pocket watching, but I do advocate for my average brothers, all my blue and white collar workers that make the, you know, the average salary of about 50000 all the way to about 75, 80K. It's like, these are my peers. So all I'm going to say is this. If you meet a woman and she is just so adamant that you make more money to, you know, compensate her for a lifestyle that she can't afford by herself, I recommend you do one thing. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No. <laughs> no. She, she wasn't ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> you don't understand. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Where in the history of civilization have women who are average, below average, average, and above average ever been able to tell men that they don't deserve femininity? Submission is a trait of femininity. All in favor, raise your hand. Just like leadership 
and protection is a trait of masculinity. All in favor, raise your hand. But today you got women saying they want, you don't get their feminine submission without paying for it. Which is utterly French toast ridiculous. It's, it's almost like they're extorting you just to get a level, a baseline level of femininity, which is crazy to me because as a woman, you should be feminine from the gate. You know what I mean? You should be feminine from the gate. A man should not have to pay for your level of femininity, which should, it should come natural. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? All right, ladies. How much do you charge? Instagram, ladies, how much do you charge for your submission? If you are an if you are a four, five, or six, that puts you roughly around the average. That is roughly 60% of women. 60% of women fall between the uh, four, five, and six range and below. Which is average. All in favor, raise your hand. I want to dispel this uh, rumor or myth out here on the dating market. And this is for men and women. Most people are average. I'm going to say that again for everybody in the back of the classroom who is not listening. Most people are average we're not all eight nines and tens and we did not some of us did not hit the genetic lottery where we have above average looks so most people are average all in favor raise your hand 50 percent of women are five and below 40 percent of women are six and below 60 percent of women are four and below most of you ladies watching this right now or the rebroadcasts are average by what men judge. But I want you to understand how we got here. Women have been t given the notion that because they can do what men do, they should be able to get what men get. Well, stop! Just f***ing do something else! Right. Just. God damn it! Just because you can do what a man can do, that does not mean you're going to get the same tangible results, meaning economic results. It's not the same. If you're up here socioeconomically, you automatically as a woman need to be expecting to marry down happily. But we're here for the average women. Because the eights, nines, and tens, they don't, they don't have, charging for submission, that's different. Let's get to it. How much does your submission cost? How much do you charge for your submission, ladies? Next, ladies, how did you set your price? How did you set your submission price? Because, see, it's funny to me that women can talk about it. If you don't make enough money, you can't call shots. OK, and I'm hearing when I hear men say this stuff, I start to get pissed off because what you're basically saying is the men who built this country, built this world, average men don't get what average men have always gotten. I got a real freaking problem with that. Absolutely. The our forefathers or our ancestors who built this country with basically a sixth grade equivalent to this day, a sixth grade education got the baseline femininity from their wives and got submission. And they didn't even make a third of what we make today. So I find it, again, I find it very rich that women today have these ridiculous standards for average working blue working class men and they are average themselves oh no he didn't miss Pigeon. i got a real freaking problem with that 
when your grandfather and great grandfather who was born in the 1800s or early 1900s, they barely had a sixth grade education and they got femininity and submission. And so did men. Today's men make more money than they've ever made. All in favor, raise your hand. Than men have ever made in mass, but women are saying they deserve less. Okay. How much do you charge for your submission? How did you set your price? How did you set your submission price, ladies? How did you set your price? Right. I just want to take a hot pause for a second. This is the first half of our reaction. I'm giving you guys a double dose of cookies today. We're actually going to be reacting to two clips today. And the second half is uh, Fresh and Fit. Shout out to uh, the podcasters Fresh and Fit, uh, Myron and Fresh. And if you get a chance, please subscribe to their channel. So yes, ladies, how much do you think your submission is worth in this dating market? And I'll, I'll give you a little hint. I'll give you a little cookie. It has nothing to do with how you look. I'm a... What? It has nothing to do with how you look. What? It's solely based on your level of femininity, decorum, etiquette, and your behavior. Yes, your good looks play a part, but your level of femininity is going to determine what that price is. And of course, the men set the market price. Um, bare minimum height and bare minimum income that your man has to make. Oh <laughs> my God. Just so I can get an idea here. Okay. So now I have new requirements. Okay, sure. What are your new requirements? <laughs> and, um, he has to be six feet and taller. Okay. okay. And how much does he have to earn per year? Um, six figures. Again, this is a new millennium nuance phenomenon. We have a whole panel full of modern women, and this is their dating requirements. Just a little cookie. Only about 14 to 15% of the male population is over six feet tall. The average man is 5'10". All in favor, raise your hand. Again, I find it very, very, very strange that most women want a man over six feet tall, yet they are chasing 13 to about 14 percent of the male population. I pose a question, ladies. What does a man's height have to do with how he's going to treat you? You stupid. Okay, so 100,000. Cool. Mm -hmm. What about you? Six, six. Definitely 6'6", six, because six, I'm 5'10". So, and money... Wait, what's the bare minimum height? 6'6", six six six, 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 or 6'0"? Six no, 6'6". Six, 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 six feet and 6'8". Six, six, yeah, yeah, damn! Yeah, I'm gonna be a bitch! Stop being a nigga to pick me up, you feel me? Like... Okay, so he's gotta be 6'0 six <laughs> <foot> and 6'0 <laughs> and 100k per year. Sat. Okay, for this particular chick, uh, next to the girl in the pink, she said that she is 5'10", so she wants a man that is 6'6". Six, six. All in favor, raise your hand. Guess what? She gets a pass. You know why? Because she's taller than the average chick. The average woman is probably like 5'3 or 5'4 across every ethnic group of women. And they are the smaller of the species of us humans on the planet. All in favor, raise your hand. So, in particular... Some of these women who are out here on the dating market, and it's not just uh, specific to any ethnic group. If you are taller than the average woman, yeah, I, I get it. You want a man taller than you because you are taller than the average woman. So with her, really, I, I got no smoke. I just have smoke with all the women on the panel asking for these ridiculous amounts of salaries for their men to make. Very, very, very rich. Bad. No, not 100K. I don't care a fuck about money. Oh. Okay, give us a bare minimum. Because Kiss Me isn't that cheap either. These New Yorkers moved down. So, uh, what that means? Yeah, real you estate. care about money. Yeah. Yeah. So, I okay. mean, yeah, but money don't make me horny. So, do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Okay, um, money pays the bills, though. Yeah. I mean, sure. uh, you can say six right. figures. Yeah, six figures. Six, six feet and six inches. Six, six and six figures. Uh, Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Pages, 
I want everybody to pay attention to all of the women's request. The salary. I'm not so hell bent on, on the height. Like I said, the average man is 5'10. But even the average man, which is 5'10, which is not pigeonholed to black men or white men, it's just being being a man. Even if you're 5'10, brothers, <laughs> you are still not nowhere near what these women are looking for. Run, bitch! Run! And 12 inch. 100K. You know. All right, what about, uh, what about <laughs> I was saying bare minimum height and income? And ladies, try to be independent with this. Like, don't go off of what the girl said prior. Just give what your standards are, no matter how small or too or large they may be. Go ahead. Single for whatever you think you're worth. Go ahead. I would say 6'3 and okay. at least 150K. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's fair. I mean, All right, cool. that's, that's like attainable, you know? What about yeah. you? I say I'm 5'2, so I say 5'9, mm -hmm. and he at least got to make 30K a month. A month? Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. That's $30,000 a month. Okay. That's, uh, okay, a month. Okay. Yeah. 360K. Is that 360? That's uh, yeah, yeah, that is, yeah. You're running about 400 yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's $360,000 a year. All right. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Patience. How about you? Mm. Yeah, baby Remember girl. Minimum income per, per year. Or you can go per month like her if you want. New York. Oh, <laughs> girl. Girl, we're popping, baby. Uh, Listen here. I'm 5'4". He got to be at least 6'9". I don't like short niggas. I really don't. 6'9". 5'9". 5'9". 5'9". 5'9". I like to look at you a little bit. Okay. 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 I got two kids. You need to make enough to out outshine me, baby. Okay. So what is that number, please? I'm going to go by month, like you. Okay, sure. What okay. is that? Uh, 25000 a month. First of all, I'm going to ask a serious question. And I am I am so not trolling. I'm being very, very serious. For the women who are listening to this podcast right now, how much money do you clear a month? Not a year, a month. How much money do you clear a month? I find it very, very, very rich that you are asking for something that you do not do yourself. You stupid. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And look at you. You're average at best. <clears throat> okay, so that is uh, a little over a quarter million a year, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Someone do the math. Yeah. Here. Uh, all right, cool. What about you? Talk your shit, girl. <laughs> so I'm tall. I'm 5'11. So uh, I ain't gonna lie, I always get the shorter crowd that hits me up. It's always mm -hmm. a short card. Mm -hmm. that we Nine. So what's the bare minimum height he's got to be? You know, actually 6'1", 6'2". I okay. really like him six tall. Foot one. Okay, and then yeah. how much does he have to earn per year? He got to He got to Listen, I ain't going to lie. You need to You need to be making some money. Like, uh, okay. That Monthly? 30K. 30K a month. Okay. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Patience? Okay. You stupid. I am an independent woman. You're an idiot. <laughs> 500 a year or something like that. I like real estate. I like well, business people. So 30K that's a month is 360K per year. Yeah, well, you need to be making that or, or at least 500 a year. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. That's a big difference. Which one? 360 to 500K? <laughs> you need to make between 360K to, to 500. 500 a year. Okay. <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Patience? Okay. Um, and then what about you? What does your guy what's the bare minimum height for your guy? Well, yeah. Minimum five eight. Okay. Income? I don't really care. Okay. Like no less than fifty thousand. No. Nope. All in favor, raise your hand. Finally we got a woman with some damn sense. She just gave probably the most accurate answer among the women on the panel here. But let's continue. 50k yeah. so 50k is the, is the cutoff yeah okay is your guy at that level i would say so okay what about uh what about you what's your bare minimum height and income bare minimum height is gonna be about six feet i'm five five so six foot okay yeah, how much per sure. year i don't need a cookbook oh no he didn't 
How much uh, per year for you and how much uh, and height? Uh, we use centimeters in Finland. That's or fine. In That's fine. That's fine. So I'd say like 175 centimeters. 175 okay. centimeters? And for the money, That's I like have five no... five feet and some change. Is it? It's like, so <laughs> like six feet. Yeah, six. Yeah, that's five. Feet. No, it's five eight. Okay, 175 yeah, centimeters five, is five eight. Five feet is some yeah. change. Let's All say right. so. How tall are you? Uh, I'm 170. How many? So you're like five, five, six. Five, 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 six. six. I think five, five, six. Five, six. Five, yeah, five, six. Five, five. All right, speak, speak. So five, eight, and then how much per year? I don't have any requirements for the money. For Come on, there's got to be a bare minimum. No, but there is not, because I don't have anything. Stop the cap. Oh, no, well. you just need to be loyal. That's enough. Exactly. You know what? I got to give Miss Finland, she's from Finland. I have to give her the utmost respect right now. All in favor, raise your hand. And I want to end right there with her. She said the most valid thing. She said, You just got to be loyal, meaning she is looking for a characteristic in the man she's not really so hell-bent on the money or the lifestyle that he can provide i think that most of our modern women on today's dating market they are they are chasing the lifestyle instead of looking towards the inner characteristics that uh make up the man right so let me just uh minimize let me minimize that and let me bring myself right back up here so in closing, I'll say this much. Um, ladies, how much do you charge or how much do you think your submission and femininity is worth out here on the dating market? How, how much would you charge for your level of femininity? And I think that's the variable and that's uh, something that's intangible. We really can't put a price on it. I say it would vary and it's really boiling down to each woman's characteristic and that boils down to how she was raised if she was not groomed to be a, a feminine submissive woman and to cater to her man and and know how to live in a man's space and provide and be a help me and make a man's life more peaceful I don't think uh, any woman that falls under that category, her level of submission, the price would probably just be average. <laughs> and with that being said, that is the end of this reaction video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the way out. Also hit the like button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. And I will definitely see you guys on the next episode of The Rabbit Hole. Peace. Everybody have a good weekend. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. No, no, she, she wasn't ready.
Thank <laughs> you.